Hi Capricorn, it's L here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this Capricorn. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Capricorn with a clear and concise message from you. Alright, so we have the Five of Swords. We have the Hermit card. We have the Six of Swords. The bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. All right, so. Um, it looks like somebody decided to leave the, a connection, and it could be a third party. It could be where one party out of this third party situation, if you will, um, they were getting all of gratification. They were getting all of, they were getting the best of both worlds. And the other two people were just suffering. Whether it was the one that had the commitment and maybe it was somebody on the outskirts of the relationship. This person who brought in this third party or, you know, made the third party situation come about, um, they're just highly aggressive in terms of what it is they want getting what they want, uh, what they feel like they deserve. And they really don't care that, um, you know, people are hurt. They can try to act as if they do, but there's a level of uh, narcissism and uh, self-aggression and just more so um, an uncaring nature. This type of attitude brought about some bad blood between, you know, all parties of all if you will. It's just not good. Somebody also is feeling like this was just a failure. It was a waste of time. It was a failure. It's just best for me to move on. Even if I feel ashamed in moving on. I feel like a loser because I didn't win this person's attention, heart, dedication, devotion, commitment. You didn't lose anything, especially with this person coming up in that type of attitude. Um, somebody just, just said, you know, they decided that it just makes sense to withdraw from this connection and go into a space of getting to know myself. Um, when we say know thyself, sitting by yourself, being the hermit, this is a time of introspection. It is not about introspection in, in terms of, oh, I'm going to sit here and pry and spy on the other person and point the finger and blame them for everything horrible in my life, in my relationship. No, this is the time for you to really pinpoint, hone in on, why would you even allow, why would you even stay in a connection? Why would you even entertain? So these are questions you need to ask yourself so that you can fix self first and then you can then re-enter the world a healed, whole individual because you know thyself. To know that self is to say, well, you know, I know that I'm, um, I'm very self-sacrificing. Maybe to the detriment of me. Maybe to the point where I, I always lose. So you're getting to know yourself. And then you're going to learn how to be stronger in that area. So this is what some of you decided to do. Um, this person also could have ghosted you. You ghosted them. I don't know. There could have been an element of, you know, somebody just went poof, gone. Um, or somebody does need to do that. Um, somebody is taking a break because they just don't know. They just, they just feel like this is a losing battle. They put so much energy in, tr in trying to shift the dynamic to the point where they just feel like I'm not getting where I want. Um, and it's bringing me to a very low place. This is also somebody who's going to, you know, they're trying to get more spiritually inclined. Somebody is also toying with the with the fact of maybe walking away and leaving. Like, I just, I might need to leave, you know, because I'm not going to, I'm not going to win here. I need to cut my losses. Someone has intellectualized a move away from, like, like, this is that, this is that, that is this, this, you know, they've really weighed the pros and the cons, really gotten 
to the meat and potatoes of the situation. It just is what it is. And it makes sense to leave that old me behind or that old part of me that was self-sacrificing, that was, um, that allowed such energy in my life and move on to something that will be better for me, to retreat. Some of you need to go on a vacation or a retreat. You need to go into some holistic way of living, of being, of existing. You need to choose better, okay? Because this is all a choice. Some of you definitely need to choose a, a, a better, healthier lifestyle. Whether that's food and drink, or it's what you watch, what you listen to, what you, you know, what you're engaging in each and every day. But it needs to be healthier for you, whatever that may be. Some of you are really going to delve into the occult, uh, the esoteric tarot card readings. Um, you're making a plan, a course of action for yourself because you're finding that my stability is elsewhere. It definitely is not here in this connection. You've made some decision, meaning you've gone in this, into the situation and cut away. So you're making some decision. You're cutting away what doesn't serve you. And some of you, this could have been a situation where you were the other person. You were a third party, fourth party, eighth party. I don't know. These people are crazy out here. Um, you just knew that with this person, they're not at an energy where they could ever give you what you deserve. But this is how somebody feels about you, Capricorn. Right now, the cards are asking you to put your energy into something where you will see results. And that is a new exercise program. Definitely something about better health, health care change. Get a second, third opinion about whatever's going on with you. Keep the faith in whatever is going on, whatever is, has transpired. And with the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, it's definitely a healthier lifestyle. And in eating and drinking and whatever it is you do, you just need to really analyze your own lifestyle. I can't tell you what to do or what you're not doing. I don't know. But um, the cards are saying, it. get real. Get true. It does matter what you eat. It does matter what you drink. It does matter what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's going to show up eventually in your body, in your spirit, in your mind. So, Capricorn, this is the reading that I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. All links are below if you want to get in contact with me. Take care.